points. Well, with the potential t- change coming, uh, let's get that's a nice transition. So let's get into that now. Um, I think today or tomorrow, something like that. F one teams are having a meeting. I will put it on my TikTok, um, saying discussing a potential change to the point system. Um, with maybe points going from 1st to 12th instead of 10th. Um, now, that could have an effect on the sprint races, because, of course, obviously, at the moment, is 1st to 8th for the sprints. Uh, in my opinion, though, um, I want your thoughts on this too, Alex. I reckon points should be given to every position, because as, if you finish a Grand Prix, you should at least get a point. I think it does make it... Yeah, no, I, I agree, and it should be. I don't know. I don't know what the points would actually be if it just be twenty to one, or you know maybe forty to. I don't know. Look, you definitely ruin the tradition of the point system mm. if you did that. However, I think it would give teams like Williams, like even Sauber, a chance to not finish last mm. because. Like we said, Joe Gwen, you in the sprint and finished ninth, and uh, Bottas finished twelfth. So, mm. like, I was not saying that they'll get points in the sprint, and their race wasn't great. But let's look at uh, Alpine, for example. Couldn't even qualify off the back row, and they finished eleventh and thirteenth in the main race. Like, you know, how many points they would get? Yeah. And I think personally, I was watching. I was actually watching the ninth episode of Draft to Survive yesterday. Hmm. I know I'm a bit delayed. Um, and just having the the stress of not like Al- Alpha Tower at that point didn't have any points or whatever, and the stress of that not having any points hmm. in a whole championship is stupid. Yeah. Right. And yeah, like I think, I think it would make for a better championship battle as well if they had um, points for everyone. Well, you make a good point because we saw in I think it was Japan last year, I believe it was definitely last year. But Sergio Perez, remember when he went in the pits and then he went back out again, only to go back in the pits. But I reckon if everyone had points there would be more of an incentive to finish the Grand Prix. Because lately, a lot of the mm. times when there's an issue, they just decide to retire the car. Because obviously points in Formula 1, as yeah, it's fantastic, but it's also financially beneficial for them. Um, yeah, but- and Bryce just made a good point in the TikTok chat, saying, like, you remember how emotional Russell got finishing ninth, I think it was, for Williams? Mm. In the half, that was in the half points race too, wasn't it? Even- yeah. yeah. Was it? I can't remember. Was, um, where was that? You know, that, uh, Spa, wasn't it? Yeah, a wet sp- yeah, 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 I think it was. Or was that the P2 one where he qualified second and the race never happened? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I remember the memes, that's all I remember. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he was upset or emotionally excited about getting points. Mm. So that would be lost. Mm. Right. But I think, like... It's the only, I don't know what F2 and F3 do, but I, it is, it's the only motorsport category where you don't get any points. Well, MotoGP does top 15. Hmm. Well, even that's so still maybe better. Look at that. Even the top 15 could work. Because um, a lot of people actually on the TikTok did say a lot of the battle pack, uh, a lot of battling is actually 13th and 14th, that, that little p- battle there. Agreed. Um, and maybe with... The F1 being, uh, sorry, MotoGP media team, you know, you'd be getting bought out by the F1 media team. I don't know what it's called. Who's the, who's Lib- uh, Lib- called? Liberty Media. That's the one. Yeah. Maybe that might spark a change. Uh, I don't know how. Well, it's just got nothing to do with the point system. But um, I think it'll bring more of an excitement because at the moment, I think the reason for this is because the top four teams are so good versus... You know, I think the gap from Mercedes, Aston Martin to, well, who's next? Anybody. Yeah. Really. So, yeah, behind the Aston Martin gap, although they did rubbish this weekend, um, besides that gap, anyone can finish only, what, 10th? 10th is the lot, unless Lance Stroll keeps crashing the people, which we'll talk about later. Um, <laughs> but apart from that, 
you know, you can only finish ninth or tenth. Yeah, exactly. And eleventh yeah. feels like a massive loss because you're so close to the points, yet you it's just a kick in the guts sort of thing. Yeah, um, the, the you know, when when Liam Lawson finished, I think it was ninth in Singapore. Mm. It got him from I think last to second to last. And then when Ricardo finished sixth no, uh, sorry. He got six points. I can't remember which position he finished. In Mexico, they went from ninth to seventh in the championship in one race. Mm. But um, back to Formula yeah. One. Oh, yeah, no. because the point system, the one that we've got now has been going around since 2010. And before that, we had the top eight. And before that, I think in 1991, it was when it was introduced, it was the top six. Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, top, yeah, back in the day when uh, the Senna days, yeah. So, so, like everything else in life, everything's just getting adapted. To yeah, so, so making it hard. In my opinion, this is a completely normal change. It's just a, just how the pattern's going. I can see a twelfth this happening next year. But personally, I would love to see maybe the, at least top fifteen get points because I feel like even one point for like tenth is just doesn't feel right. Um. Oh, no, I, yeah, I, but also the fact, the fact of what I said before, you know, they get these bottom six teams fighting for one point. Mm. And who got it Who got it this week? Hulkenberg. You know, so like you have those, yeah, you're literally fighting for one position because you got all Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari, both Mercedes, just, and then the uh, – Lance Stroll wasn't there. But if Lance Stroll finishes in the top 10, then none of the teams get points. Yeah. So So, I kind of get why they're complaining about it, and I would too. I'm not really opposed to um, having all drivers get a point. Yeah, no. See, I personally like it. I personally want everyone at least, even if it's a little bit. Like, because we see it in supercars, right? I just want... I just don't want to see uh, teams just retiring their car because they're guaranteed not getting points. I want them to s- try to finish the Grand Prix. I never thought about that. That's a good point. That's the that's the only reason why I think they should do it. Um, Although I reckon if they do all 20 points, if you don't finish, you get nothing. Mm, good point. So let's say that 17 cars finish. Mm. Those bottom three won't get any points. And then the highest point score would be... One, two, four points. 